Hello everybody and welcome back to an episode of the new save file, which is my Isaac intro and not the intro for this. So, dude, what's going on with my hegemony credits? I keep just spawning in and having none. Give hegemony hegemony credits 250 this time rather than a billion. That didn't work. Couldn't access player control. What? Do I have to be selected on a character first? I do, okay. What's going on with my hegemony credits, people? Why do they, why do they keep going down to zero? Anyways, I just want to play as the Paradox this time. Speedy in and out run. Let's give it a go. <coughs> I apologize for my coughing. <coughs> just grab both of, that, both of those. <coughs> I always feel like I've got to clear my throat <coughs> after I've eaten when I record. <coughs> I don't know why, because it's like... If I talk after I've eaten, like, to people or on the phone or whatever, it doesn't bother me, but when I record, it's different. Maybe I, like, access a different part of my throat or something when I record. I, I put my voice on slightly differently. I wouldn't say, like, <clears throat> not like I try to be professional or anything, but I guess it does sound slightly different. Um, converts available health into armor, and I'll be honest, let's, let's, uh, let's re-roll re that back. A pretty dull weapon and not very interesting item. I just, I don't care for, like, like I said, rerolling Paradox to get something crazy. I just want something interesting. <clears throat> Even if it's both D-tier stuff, as long as it's stuff I ever haven't seen before is fairly unique and I'm more interested. I mean, that's pretty interesting. Um, and then we've also got the <clears throat> Trasher. What's better than one piece of junk? Two pieces of junk, of course. With this great invention, when you pick up a piece of junk, it will just quantum entangle junk from somewhere else. Sometimes to your other hand. This is how we solve the world's junk problem. Just put it elsewhere. Gives you 50% chance to obtain an extra piece of junk. Other types of junk include ver uh, included at various odds. Okay, so we, we want to destroy chests. We've also got this amazing thing here. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. I like that. Just, okay. I ended up getting hit there because of the knockback. I didn't actually realize it knocked me back. But that's actually pretty interesting as a weapon. Um, I, I would typically think that's probably going to be good for room clearing in rooms that don't have this many walls. Um, I wouldn't say it's probably a, too good of a boss killer. Although it might be. I don't know. I'll try and use it for uh, for room clearing most of the time, I think. But unfortunately, so far, both of our rooms have been very wall-heavy rooms, which doesn't really lend itself to uh, a gun like that being super useful. We need a, a nice open room. <laughs> the knockback is hilarious. We did do a good bit of damage on him. <laughs> That's really nice. I really like that. Okay, and then what we got going on in here, we've got ourselves the Lead Heart, which we could potentially um, afford. I'm not exactly sure what the Lead Heart does. I'm pretty sure I've had it before, but I don't remember. <laughs> I need to check, Does the do the bullets actually come out of the barrel of the gun, or do they come out um, of where, they, where we hold the gun? Okay, it seems like they come out where we hold the gun, not the actual barrel. Which is what I expected to happen, to be honest. Can you get out my face, please? Okay. Bit of health there, lovely. And our first little chest. Okay. First chest is some disappointment, sadly. God damn, yeah. I love this thing. <clears throat> I mean, everyone loves it, don't they? And, like, Gungeon or any game, like, getting comically large weapons is just... It's just funny. It's just more enjoyable than a regular weapon. And I don't really know what it is about people wanting comically large weapons, but it's certainly a thing. I mean, that's beautiful, isn't it? Like, oh, that's really fun. That's really fun. Being able to just hit everything in a room. And it seems to do pretty good damage. I do wonder, does it say, does it tell us what tier it is? C, this is C tier. Okay. This is a pretty good weapon for C tier, I've got to say. I rate it highly for C tier. Like, look at that. We're, we're basically... Near to one-shotting a gun nut. At least that brown chest we can uh, we can destroy. I take care of you first. I think I only killed him then. Ah, oh, the bloody table! My God, tables! I think I killed something else up there. It's hard to tell in these very large rooms. But yeah, gotta love that. Ooh, we got something here. Elder Blank. Hello, hello. Um, 
darn, everything being far too expensive there. We do have the minion shop on this floor as well, so to find, most likely. Unless that, um, unless, uh, Old Red there replaces it, it might. The minion shop seems fairly common on the first floor, so I'm expecting it to be around. Although, there may have been a patch to address it, who knows. I can't say for sure. I couldn't comment. Here we got a little, little turkey fella, boom. <laughs> Looks like we're actually not going to get a minion shop because we got all goldy here. Unfortunately, two brown chests and no goddamn junk. Are you kidding me? You didn't give me junk when I specifically asked you to. We didn't even get two junk there. I'm I'm very upset. <laughs> I'm very upset. Right, let's see how this thing does against bosses. The knockback could be a little troublesome, but that damage is uh. Nothing to turn our nose up at, my god. In fact, the reload speed on this thing's pretty quick. <laughs> the knockback's actually kind of useful in a way. If you sort of time it and space it right. That's that's pretty incredible against bosses as well, you know. This thing's uh, a good all-rounder. We also get the AKNAN. Which is... As you can see, a bit glitchy. Oh, hello, it is Minion Shop. Um, Baby Good Mimic, I think I'll take just because I love, I would love to get Drone as well, but doesn't look like that's going to be the case. Um, Right. Let's keep her going. Baby Good Mimic, it's been a while since I saw you. I probably should have gone Oubliette with the extra keys I've got here, but eh, I think I ended up destroying the water barrel. And I don't want to do the song and dance of carrying the water barrel from the other room that it can spawn in all the way back, because it's just absolutely huge pain in the ass. But yeah, with 40 rounds, it's, this, this, this thing's can, like, I think it can eat through a hammer pretty quick, but... Oh my god. Is there any realistic way to use this thing effectively, or is it just fire and hope for the best? It seems like it's very much fire and hope for the best. Oh lord, what is... What is going on here? I don't think we can actually aim it. I think it's just, yeah, fire and hope it hits sort of thing. I'm trying to create a circle of shots around here. I'm sorry if anyone here is epileptic, because this is surely to cause some problems. Oh, we did get a mirror room here, which I'm quite uh, excited about. A little bit of free curse and a free chest. Do not mind if I do. Hey, the fun cannon's pretty good. This thing can be pretty insane with, like, shadow bullets and stuff like that as well. We like it. We love it. We want some more of it. We could also end up getting the AK um, affinity thingy, whatever it's called. Can't remember what it's called now. There's, like, an AK affinity amulet that you can get that increases the damage of all known AKs. Um, be nice to grab that. Up our power of this bad boy. Right. Unfortunately, we've got a bit of a bad first floor with our... Um, Unfortunate double. Oh, I just backed myself into that shot. Uh, with our unfortunate double brown chest sitch, which isn't ideal. But we'll, uh, we'll make it way through. You didn't die to that, you freak. The hell? Hey, here's a good chest. And we got the lead key. Beautiful. We've got to love the lead key. Hello, hello. Well, this is kind of a hard one. Wow, th th this is... Quite the distance to be firing shots compared to normal. Uh, I don't even know when best to shoot here. Okay, that's fine, that one. Yeah, this is kind of a, a tough a tough shooting game. Shooting gallery, whatever you want to call it. Um, now? Ah, oh, not even close to now. I'm not going to be able to get this. This is too... The distance is too far to get the timing right. Oh, ho, ho, I got one. And then the, the other two are just an absolute mystery how I'm going to I'm gonna achieve them. This is just wait for the blocks to move and hope for the best. Hey, Okay, not so bad, not so bad. We got three. And we get ourselves this, which actually does have a synergy, apparently. Um, surprising. Okay, it's just... That's got, like... I, although I appreciate it, that's got to be one of the most disappointing things ever, to get a, a, to get a synergy in it to just be with a master round. Um, adds bonus projectiles. Yeah, I think this thing, I think this thing's good. I think this thing's good. But cool, uh, that was a pretty good lead key action. I do love lead key, basically lead key, red key from Isaac. It's 
Same thing. If you watched the... Um... Ooh. Ooh, I am noticing something, though. It has added a layer of blur, like depth of field, to our entire screen permanently. So that's, uh... That's not... That doesn't look very nice. Gonna have to deal with that. I apologize. I don't know if there's much I can do to fix that. I'm hoping the next usage of lead key will, uh... Rectify that, but I'm I'm legitimately unsure if that will be the case. Nice. Um, try and use this thing for uh, for room clearing. It's one of those items that's kind of weird to use. Yeah, this 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 is really distracting. Having this uh constant blur filter over us. It looks really horrible. <laughs> but we can hope for the best. Um, I guess we take it for this bad boy and fill it up. Right, look for our next chest. That was just idiotic, and I know it was, so that's why I'm going to do it again. Okay, for some reason it didn't happen that time. Didn't push him away though. Yeah, not not a great weapon. Oh well, hello. Oh, you've gotta be kidding me. You've gotta be kidding me. Right, lead key, please undo a oh, really Oh, uh, that's annoying. Oh, we can! Haha, <laughs> we can teleport back to this, though. So we can actually go and grab a key and uh, and come back to that, which is interesting. I didn't expect this. But yeah, we've got quite a lot of low ammo, high damage weapons right now. Unfortunately, the Grass Chopper, not really been one of them. It just falls under the category of low ammo. This thing is shockingly awful for an A-tier weapon. This thing... This thing caused the Great Depression. My god. It's just, it's depressing to use. Right, so I can buy that and then I can go, come all the way out here. And I can actually teleport back to this. Hey, Galactic Medal of Honor or Valor is uh, it's pretty good. But yeah, I'll be honest, this this run, this run's kind of, uh, kind of giving me the ick right now. Because this, um, this filter is really gross. I really don't like having this blur. <laughs> Oh, dude. Galactic Medal of Valor giving us reload speed for all these weapons is actually pretty incredible. Also, am I firing more shots? Kind of looks like I am. Also, we've managed to destroy almost all of his segments, which is pretty funny. There you go. Nice and easy. I'm liking this weapon with its reload speed. It's pretty tasty. Magic bullets as well. Gotta love it. Uh, let, let's let's check this out. See what see what's what's going on in here. All stats up is always good. Let's take this as well. Why not? It's been a while. It's been a while since we've done the shift. All right, last lead key here. What do we get? I don't even know what to say about all of this. And then this thing? I don't know. I genuinely don't know. Oh, all the sprites there. Back on through. Okay, so uh, so far, um, cr like the shift hasn't really helped all that much. It hasn't helped a whole lot, and it does give us a damage down as well, which is to be expected after the uh, thing. But we did get more ammo and things, which is going to be good, even with a damage down. I think that'll be nice. Oh, the uh, the filter's gone away now. Okay. I don't actually know what the other. Uh, the other shot that we're firing is, to be honest. 
I'm not sure if we care. I'm going to be using this thing the entire run now, aren't I? Right, let's see if it, the filter comes back. Oh my lord. This is a good teleport. Um, Wagwan. Oh, okay. We will be back, I think. We will be back. Let me just let me just make sure that we will be back. Yeah, there you go. We can make our way back pretty easily. Okay. Sanctified oil. You know. You know that I want you. I think I actually used the knockback there to knock me out of position for that guy, uh, that hand hitting me there. It's pretty funny. Oh, really? Yeah, Sanctified Oil, I think on this thing could be pretty hilarious. We need 50 for Sanctified Oil, so... Oh, man. This thing with bounty bullets would be pretty, uh, pretty incredible as well. Wait, what, spider? You want both barrels? Boom. Even with a lower damage, it's one-shotting. Got a very glitched room here. Thank you. Give me that, my big shotgun back. Ah! I'm stuck. I can't fire while I'm aiming towards the pits. Otherwise, it'll suck me in. Please let me get up to 50 cent, please. 50 coins, whatever you want. 50 casings. Whatever you want to say. It's not going to let me, is it? If I have a feeling. This is so much fun, man. <laughs> Having this thing with more ammo and a faster reload is uh, is really fun. Crack that up and give me a synergy for this bad boy. Or give me this little fucker again. Hey, to be fair, two of these little bastards. Don't mind if I do. I I sold him in a recent video, and people were some people in the comments were not best pleased with my uh, my decision. Come on, give me some ammo for this bad boy. Oh, baby. We are two pennies off. Yes, you gave me what I need. Okay. We need to go back over here. Hello, sanctified oil. <laughs> what? <laughs> yes. Oh... Beautiful. This is fucking stupid. Oh, man. That could be pretty good, too, I reckon. That could also be pretty good. Okay. This is all pretty crazy. First of all, I've got to see how this performs. We do have a massive damage down at the moment, so probably not too well, considering the major knockback. There was pretty much no avoiding a mushroom at this point, was there? <laughs> yeah, this is not bad, it's not bad. I suppose actually when we've got magic bullets as well. Knockback on the enemy itself is pretty good too. <laughs> I like this decision that I've made here. Where'd that key go? I don't know if I actually got that key kin. Oh, I did. I killed him. Okay, nice. What you got for us now? Okay, doesn't matter. I, I had a feeling. I had a feeling the chest was going to get destroyed there, but I wasn't sure.
Hello. Heart piece. I mean, our health isn't great right now. We can, we can say that for sure. So what's going to be our best boss killer? Because this thing... This thing seems like it's going to be a bit rough for killing bosses, let's be honest. Because, uh, because of the crazy knockback. So maybe the fun cannon? We'll try this out, like, obviously. We'll try it out. See what sort of damage it does. I mean, it, it's pretty good. Oh, really? That hit me? Fuck you. We're pretty decent at killing bosses, I'd say. It's that Sprun. It's been a while since I've seen Sprun. Right. This has been pretty insane. <laughs> this is pretty wacky. Right. Lead key again. I, I know the filter's horrible, but I'm going to lead key it again. Lead key is paid out. Oh, care to put a fingers. That's going to be a hell of an annoying thing to have. Oh, oh I got sprung. I don't know what I did to get sprung. I'm guessing it was activate my active item. But it seems like it's pretty good. Okay, it went away. Yeah, it's probably my active item. I think this is going to be a pretty good strategy, let's be honest. Without taking damage. Oh wait, did I did I leave a weapon anywhere? Did I get hit at any point? No, I think I'm good. Yeah, this is this is a pretty good setup right here. Hello. Let's see how this does. Not particularly well. I can see how this does. It seems pretty good. It's very annoying though. This could be pretty good as well. I, th I think this thing takes the cake is the best thing we've got. Yeah, it is definitely using our space power that gives us a spawn activation. Which is good to know. Spawn had to reload there. Weird. Oh, wait. Just fill the room with this stuff. I hurt myself there, and I don't know how. Don't really know what happened there. Fill the room with bubbles. Bubbles turn them into chickens. That's our, that's our path to victory nowadays. Oh, it spawned me in this room this time. Uh, no, 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 no. Oh, for fuck's sake. Doesn't matter, it's gone now. Didn't pick up the item. It picked. It, it used the, the to portal rather than picking up the item. Obviously not what I wanted, game. You knew that, didn't you? Boss. Oh, wait, you didn't. That wasn't the original boy. I just. Oh, no matter what I do, I always end up in the doorway. Oh, what the fuck? They've made their way out of the uh, the other room. Do not respect that. 
Stop, stop making your way in here. Bugger off. Stop summoning them, you bastard. I've none of that, thanks. I've none of that. Oh man, this is this is very fun. <laughs> Sanctified oil is a great is a great item. Makes some weapons really really cool. That could be pretty fun. Yeah, that could be pretty fun too. So many chests. Damn it, that one's not very fun. And another chest. Some sort of horseshoe looking thing. Golden magnet for some extra money, I guess. Hey, this is um, triple crossbow, so it's slowing shots. It's nice. Okay, boss time, I think. Don't know what to use against bosses. I think this thing's still just the ammo efficiency of it and everything, it just takes the cake. Also, the fact that it leaves, like, lingering shots everywhere does also mean I, I, I can't really see, but let's ignore that. Do you dare to move down the screen? <laughs> Do you even dare? But luckily, even when we can't see, I can still flawless just fine. Right. Hey, we got a synergy there. Is that just another new wave synergy? We'll find out in a second. Yep, that is. Right. To the next floor. To the last floor. This has been a pretty, pretty intriguing episode. I mean, Sanctified Oil's never not interesting, but with the weapons we have, it's particularly quite good. I really like the big shotgun. <laughs> I knew when I saw Sanctified Oil, I'm like, this is going to be fucking stupid. <laughs> Anything that applies knockback, I, I don't know if there's a way around it, because it, it just applies knockback every time you fire, and with Sanctified Oil, you fire like a thousand times. There's no way to, to like scale it so that it doesn't knock you back as much when it's firing faster, because the chances of that happening are pretty slim to none. It's like this item and maybe one or two others that can do this, and I'm pretty sure it's mainly just this one. Unfortunately, once again, we are stuck loading on the fifth floor, is, I, I'm almost certain someone told me it's that diamond room, but that diamond room doesn't do anything from what I've heard. Like in terms of its, in terms of like the pieces of the puzzle, apparently it's not like a whole thing. So I think that needs to be removed um, just for the time being because it's it seems to cause the fifth floor to take a lot longer to load than it should. I really like the fact that we've got um, Sprun as well. Sprun's a pretty nice item. Oh, why would you switch to the sword of all things? Now that was moronic. Well, this won't be. Ah! Oh. <laughs> Get out of here! Get him! Yeah, I guess if they don't die, they end up dying to being turned into chickens. Hello, Warmimic. Wasn't expecting your company here. Give me a chisel. I can't remember what the chisel does now. Is it a weapon? Chance to sculpt flip tables. Uh, okay, nice. We've had this before. It's pretty good. There you go. Look. Flip a table. Sometimes it'll turn to a decoy. I think it's a really cool idea for an item. The wooden tables. The wooden decoys. Makes sense. Dude, we get this room all the goddamn time. What's going on with this? Oh, hello. That was, that was kind of spooky because I didn't see him coming with that attack. Shadow bullets. Oh, yes, please. 
Also, did you just see that I had 125k since bought Shadow Boats for 104 and it took all my money? What was that about? Is that, that's, that's what just happened, right? There's some funky stuff going on in Gungeon right now with my with my currencies. Oh, I've been set on fire real quick. Hello. Less money, more power seems like it could be pretty good. We can maybe grab that. I need 28 to grab it. Which I think I should have right now, but the game screwed me. I'm 27 already. Oh, sorry, 17 already. <laughs> My god, this is so enjoyable. And the thing is, as well, there's like just no prospect of us running out of ammo. Hello, we got an AK synergy here. I haven't actually used this thing yet. This thing could be kind of crazy. We're at 27 now. Now this room here is what I was talking about before. Okay, this thing just fire damage now. Right, back to the curse wench. Give me that purse. Damage goes from 0 0.14. Oh ho 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 my god. That's a that's a that's a pretty large damage increase right there. 0 0.14 to 0 0.44. It basically tripled our damage output. That's pretty gnarly. Alright, try and find the boss. Before we gain too much extra money. Cause it is based on how much money we're carrying, so it's not always gonna stay this uh this good. <laughs> hey, there you go. Uh, I guess I'll start with shotgun and move into fun cannon. I ought to actually pay attention here because I might die if I don't. Any other weapons we could use here that'd be like stupidly good? This slows him, which is something, I guess. This doesn't do anything for us. This seems pretty powerful. Yeah, this seems strong. We'll use it for, for the heart, I think. Good, good. We should be pretty good to go here. I like my two little spooky boys, little skelly bobs, doing their job. Uh, what the fuck? This game is racist, man. <laughs> what the hell was that? Where'd all my ammo go? Anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed this one because that was truly something insane. Truly, truly an insane run. I mean, whenever you get lead key, it's going to be a fun run. Whenever you get sanctified oil, it's going to be a good run. And then combine that with the um, chaos modifier for the extra duct taped guns and all that. Oh my god. Just leads to some craziness. Either way, I hope you guys did thoroughly enjoy. Ah, oh, hello, Sprun. Where did you come from? God, this animation takes forever, man. Just let me shoot myself in the face, please. <laughs> Just let me shoot myself in the face. Either way, I hope you guys did thoroughly enjoy, and yeah, I will see you guys in the next one.